I, I really want to hear and speak about those data streams that, that must not be named, <laughs> that we feel like we, we just shouldn't name at all. Because that really excites me because there's just such power there. Those ones that we just really wouldn't want to ever share with someone else. It, but only in the context of, of the Four Mainstays. And, and so, welcome to the context of the Four Mainstays. Uh, the, the Four Mainstays, to begin with, is first the practice of short moments of open intelligence. And to know directly just what open intelligence is, you can recognize it synonymous with perfect love. You can recognize it synonymous with pure knowing. So just stop thinking right now and recognize what remains, what is always stable, what is always reliable. This is the kind of perfect love that I, I really want. What is always reliable about you right now? And when I look at my experience, really the, that's the only thing that I can say is always reliable, that there is this power to experience, this incredible, incredible power right there seated in your chair right now. This ability to hear these words, this ability to perceive is powerful and is synonymous with perfect love. It may not be synonymous to all those descriptions you have about love, Descriptions we call data, they arise they, and they subside. And they are similar to the flight path of a bird in the sky, resolving naturally. Data are thoughts, emotions and sensations. Data are people, places and things, all experience. And so data and open intelligence, they are the perfect lovers. <laughs> inseparable from each other, like the colour blue is inseparable from the sky. So right now you have incredible love affair going on right in your seat. We have your data that must not be named. What are they? Desire, attraction, jealousy, envy. They're popping, bubbling, fizzing. Inseparable to open intelligence, this incredible, incredible meeting. This power to, to experience, this power to know. So in each and every moment, completion, great completion, great relaxation, great ease, great potency. The data that we have, uh, they are the fuel to be of beneficial action in the world. So if you're training up, for instance, to be a, a doctor, uh, I don't know, a builder, a carpenter, a gymnast, whatever you are training up to be in the world, we have to start with the education in the nature of mind. We really have to start with proper education in the nature of mind, knowing that we have an arisal of a, a headache, for instance, a difficult description that is challenging for millions upon millions of people, right? Who has had a headache here before? Great. <laughs> so to come to fundamentally know just what that is, would be of service to many people. The description, any description, whether we call it a physical description, this physical sensation of a headache, or the physical sensation of uh, an emotion, an aching emotion, aching desire, aching jealousy, aching envy, they're inseparable. They're non-different and equal and even in the space of open intelligence. The mechanism is the same, spontaneously releasing, moment to moment. How, 
how uh, long can you keep the thought of I have a headache right now? I have a headache, I have a headache, I have a headache. Okay, now it's gone. <laughs> In an instant. Moment to moment, spontaneously releasing these thoughts, these emotions and sensations. So to prioritize what is always reliable, what is always clear, is what we are speaking about here. And then we can really revolutionize those conventional aspects, those, those things that we want to do in the world. Being clear and stable in what, what exactly is data, what exactly is open intelligence, what exactly is the nature of my mind, of these thoughts and emotions and sensations, what do they actually mean. It's so popular for thousands upon thousands of years, I know in my own experience, I've gone along with the ride of popular definitions. I have this sensation, it means I need to do this and that and that, because everyone else is doing this and that and that. But here, going back to the Four Mainstays, we are revolutionizing popular culture, making popular education in the nature of mind, making it popular that actually, uh, we need to come to know the mind exactly as it is. So I spoke about short moments of open intelligence, relaxing for short moments many times, until open intelligence is, is just always obvious, inseparable from the data that is arising. And we have training media which is what you have seen this morning, which is what you are listening to now, what you are watching now. Just a reminder, a simple reminder, that we can look to our own experience and see what is really going on, what is actually going on, what is actually going on right now. Thoughts, emotions and sensations spontaneously releasing like the flight path of the bird in the sky, like that line drawn in water. We have trainers that share their experience. Trainers that uh, are just like you, that have experience, desire, envy, jealousy, paranoia, maybe to even extremer degrees, <laughs> more extreme degrees. Paranoia where maybe there's 80 people looking at me right now. <laughs> Everywhere you go, not only right here, in your bathroom. <laughs> Millions of people watching me. <laughs> Having those thoughts that must not be named. Are there billions of people seeing these thoughts? <laughs> Hearing these words? It's great. Paranoia opens it up, up, us up to everyone, really. All of these difficult descriptions, they just open us up to, to more and more intimacy. knowing exactly that actually millions upon millions upon billions of people have felt this or may be feeling this right now too. Immediate connection, that loving connection. If we're looking for love to be just a certain description, then we couple up and find people with those certain descriptions. If we understand ultimate love to be all descriptions, the basis of all descriptions, then what does that do? It opens it up, us up to, to everyone and everything. Great power, great connection. Knowing that actually I can be anyone. I can be any one of you sitting there. I can be any one of you thinking those things. I can experience any, any thought, there's no, no off limits, those thoughts of all the worst people in the world, I could have those thoughts too, the thoughts of all the best people in the world, those too. 
And so the last main, mainstay is the, the community. Making popular education in the nature of mind, making popular a revolution in the nature of mind, where making it easy to say, okay, I really want to see reality as it is. I really want to know the nature of my mind. I really want to know what perfect love is in my own experience and not something from a book or something that I've read or something that uh, I have seen being played out time and time again. I really want to know exactly what open intelligence, love, these thoughts, emotions and sensations, what exactly they are. So just hanging out here, we, we have the space to really really look, really allow everything to be as it is for short moments many times, really see what's, what's going on here in your own direct experience. <laughs>